Hello everyone, it's me again, Teacher Shek. Today, we are going to discuss about absolute value. So, what is absolute value? The absolute value of a number x, denoted by this symbol, read as the absolute value of x is the distance between that number x from 0 on the number line. Since we are referring to distance, the absolute value of a number can never be negative. However, if a negative sign is outside the absolute value, it is not affected by the absolute value symbol. I have here a number line. We all know that a number line is consists of 0, positive number, and, and negative numbers. Now, using the number line, what is the distance of negative 3 from 0? So, from 0, move tayo papunta kay negative 3. So, let's count 1, 2, 3. So, the distance of negative 3 from 0 is 3. So, to represent it in an absolute value, it will be written like this. So, the absolute value of negative 3 is equal to 3. How about the distance of 4 from 0? Again, let's count. How many units or how far is positive 4 from 0? So, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, the distance of 4 from 0 is 4. Therefore, the absolute value of 4 is equal to 4. What you have observed to the given example? Remember that if you are going to get the distance of a number or if you are going to get the absolute value of a number, it will never be negative because we are just getting the distance of that number from 0. Now let's have an example. What is the absolute value of 8? Yes, the answer is 8. And it is read as the absolute value of 8 is equal to 8. Next, what is the absolute value of negative 8? Yes, the answer is 8. So, next, how about in this example? The answer is negative 8. And it is read as the negative absolute value of 8 is equal to negative 8. I know some of you wonder why is it the answer is negative. At kakasabi lang na it will never be negative. Let me discuss it further. The absolute value inside the two bars is positive 8. But since we have negative outside the absolute value, that is the reason why our final answer became negative 8. Next example. So, same with the previous example, the negative absolute value of negative 8 is equal to negative 8. Again, the absolute value of negative 8, inside the two bars tayo ha, is 8. But since my negative outside the absolute value, it will become negative 8. Okay? This time, we are going to find what are the value of x? So, binigay na ang sagot. Ang aalamin mo lang ay kung ano ang number na ipapalit mo kay x para mag-equal sa 5. So, think a number that if you get the absolute value, the answer is 5. So, therefore, the value of x is equal to 5 and negative 5. So, if you are going to replace positive 5 to x, so the absolute value of positive 5 is equal to 5. And if you substitute negative 5 to x, the absolute value of negative 5 is also 5. Therefore, the value of x is 5 and negative 5. Another one. The absolute value of x is equal to 7. So, same with the first example. You are going to think what will be the value of x na kapag kinuha natin yung absolute value, the answer is 7. So, 
the value of x is equal to 7 and negative 7. Next example, the absolute value of x is equal to 18. So what will be the answer? Yes, x is equal to 18 and negative 18. How about this one? We have an inequality symbol in the given. So the absolute value is less than or equal to 3. It means that the uh, absolute value of x must be equal or less than to 3. So what will be the answer? Yes, it will become x is equal to negative 3, to negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. So these are the numbers that you can substitute to x that if you get the absolute value, the answer is 3. So let's try. The absolute value of negative 3 is equal to 3. So, sabi naman niya kasi, si x daw ay less than or equal kay 3. And 3 is equal to 3. Next, the absolute value of negative 2 is equal to 2. So, less than siya kay 3. Check. So, the absolute value of negative 1 is equal to 1. So, check ulit tayo. The absolute value of 0 is 0. And then, the absolute value of 1 is 1. And the absolute value of 2 is 2. So, less than pa rin siya sa 3. And the absolute value of 3 is also 3. So, less than or equal ang hinihingi niya. So, so that are the values of x. Now, let's proceed to this example. Operation of absolute value. In this example, before doing the operation or before we subtract the given, get the absolute value first of negative 7 and 3. So, what is the absolute value of negative 7? Yes, 7. How about the absolute value of 3? Yes, 3. So, it will become like this. 7 minus 3 is equal to 4. Okay, next. Another one. The absolute value of 8 plus the absolute value of negative 5. Again, what is the absolute value of 8? Yes, 8. So, how about negative 5? It's positive 5. So, it will be like this. 8 plus 5. So, the final answer is 13. How about this one? The absolute value of 9 plus 12. So, before getting the absolute value, perform first the operation inside the absolute value. So, 9 plus 12 is equal to 21. And the absolute value of 21 is equal to 21. Next example. The absolute value of 2 plus 3 minus the absolute value of 12 minus 10. Again, perform the operation inside the absolute value. So, 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 minus 12 minus 10 is equal to 2. Then, after, after that, get the absolute value of 5. It will become 5. The absolute value of 2 is equal to 2. So, 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. Okay? Last example. The absolute value of 8 minus 5 minus the absolute value of 5 minus 4. So, again, 8 minus 5 is equal to 3. And 5 minus 4 is equal to 1. Next, get the absolute value of the two numbers. So, the absolute value of 3 is equal to 3. And the absolute value of 1 is equal to 1. So, 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. Okay? Now, let's compare absolute value using less than, greater than, or equal. So, the absolute value of negative 7 and the absolute value of 3. So, let's compare. Is it greater than, less than, or equal? Yes, greater than. Because if you get the absolute value of negative 7, it will become 7. And the absolute value of 3 is equal to 3. And 7 is greater than 3. 
Okay, next, the absolute value of 2 and the negative absolute value of 9. So, what will be your answer? Yes, it is greater than because the absolute value of 2 is 2 and the negative absolute value of 9 is equal to negative 9. Therefore, 2 is greater than negative 9. Next example, the absolute value of 8 minus 5 and the absolute value of 2 plus 3. Again, simplify muna natin to, yung operation sa loob. So, 8 minus 5 is equal to 3. And 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. So, therefore, the absolute value of 8 minus 5 is equal to the absolute value of 2 plus 1. Another example, the absolute value of 13 minus 9 and the absolute value of 14. So, first, perform the operation inside the absolute value. 13 minus 9 is equal to 4. And the absolute value of 14 is equal to 14. So, in this given, the absolute value of 13 minus 9 is less than the absolute value of 14. Now, it's your turn. You can pause the video to answer the activity. Now, let's check your work if you get a correct answer. If you get a perfect score, then very good. So, that's all for today. Next lesson, addition of integers. Thank you for watching.